everybody, my name is Lucy, I'm with the U-Haul Company, and today I'm gonna show you how to install a Quick Connect wiring harness on this Honda Pilot. So let's get started. You will need the tool seam here to complete this installation. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the back of the vehicle, because this is where we're gonna need to access the first component for our wiring. What you're gonna need today is gonna be a flathead screwdriver. On the driver's side of the vehicle, you're gonna look for this auxiliary fuse compartment with your screwdriver. I'm gonna have you just pop off this little box, set that to the side. All right, so I'm gonna reach inside this compartment and as you'll see in the back, there is another white end that we're gonna to clip to. I'm just gonna pull this in here. Kinda of have to be one hand savvy. Wait to hear that clip, and then that's all that's to it. We're gonna put this into this compartment. Just kinda of push it down and secure it against that wall. And then we are going to put this right back on. Good. Now that we've got the connection completed inside the vehicle, we've pulled it up on the ramps, and now we're ready to install the last portion of our wearing harness. Uh, first thing we're gonna do, it was where we're gonna remove this nice fascia panel. Honda did a really good job of concealing the towing to make it look fancy. Once you take this off, you'll see here that your hitch is here. It's actually set up at this spot that you could drill it out if you were installing a seven way. But today we're gonna install a four flat. Um, that's all the customer needs on this. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sit down and get underneath the vehicle. I'm gonna get this connected. And as you see here, uh, right above the driver's side tailpipe, you're gonna see this really nifty, hidden, concealed gray plug-in. We're gonna take our portion of the plug-in, and then we're gonna plug it right into that baby there. There is a safety cover on here that we're just gonna unclip and pull out, as you can see. And then we're gonna take our end of our adapter, match up your connection so you're not trying to jam it in there and break any of them pins. And once you get it in there and hear that click, kind of a quiet click, it is now connected. So before I install the bracket, I'm gonna go ahead and power up the wiring harness we just installed. Included in your hardware for the installation is a nice fuse. It's gonna do everything we need it to do. You'll review your owner's manual on placement. You'll come underneath the front here in the hood. And you'll remove this fuse box by just squeezing together and lifting up. In here will tell you the number based on what your owner's manual will say on where placing the fuse. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna take this fuse right here and we're gonna place it in the third spot and push it down so it's nice and tight and then we'll put our fuse cover back on. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna clean this up and mount it on a bracket to make it look professional and nice and, and neat. So um, this is, like I said, a, this is made for a seven way, but we can still use this or this to mount to. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this wiring, nice little hole back here, and just pull this through. So instead of going underneath it, you could drill a hole here if you want to. Um, this is gonna look nice and neat and clean as well. So I'm gonna do it this way, it's more fast and efficient. I'm gonna take our wiring bracket that's made for your standard four flat, and I'm gonna kinda eyeball it, making sure I can still put my fascia back on there to cover it all up, making sure that I can get this behind the bracket with the cover on it to make sure the fascia will go on there. So being that the, the fascia, the bumper kind of comes down at an angle, I'm gonna angle my bracket too, so when that wiring is fully in there, the cap is on, that fascia piece will go on there without having to force against the wiring. So I'm gonna take the pencil, and I'm gonna mark my spots where the little holes are on the bracket. And if you don't like the way it looks, Pencil's nice, because you just lick your finger, remove your marks, and start over. So now that I've marked my holes for the bracket, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pre-drill the holes. 
and then you can go at an angle it's okay because you don't get as much room in there the goal is to make holes so if they're sitting at an angle it's okay one of the things you gotta do is have a little bit of balance when it comes to doing this so use your wrist use your hand we'll just kind of get in there slowly like such I'm gonna do the same thing down here Like such. Just rub that off so it looks a little prettier. In your hardware for your bracket, it does come with two little self tapping screws. We're going to use all black because it looks better. We're just going to double check, make sure the holes line up good, which they do. And we are going to then install. I'm gonna go this way. I don't like the way it looks when they come through like this. So I'm gonna push the little bolts through like such. Having tiny hands sometimes helps. Got them pushed through. And then I'm gonna take the little nut and put it on the bolt. I'm gonna take the last one on the top, which will be the one that's a little wrestle in here. It literally is hand-eye coordination. And then what we're going to do is take this and we're going to wrestle the wiring into the bracket. And actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it over because I think it'll look nicer with the cap coming down versus going up. All right, so now that that um, bracket is holding on to our four flat connector, we're gonna take our dust cover, put it on there, and now our mounting of our brand new quick connect that we just installed is complete. Right now, um, what you've got set up for here, obviously you already have your two inch receiver installed on the vehicle for towing, but now you're completely capable of towing a U-Haul trailer, a camper, um, pretty much anything that you're required to have lights by law. And you can see how simple and easy the installation is. So we're gonna go ahead and put the dust cover on and we're gonna go out and have some fun. To learn more about the product seen in this video or to schedule an installation by U-Haul Hitch Professional, visit us online today at uhaulhitches.com.